Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to get Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies and multiplayer running on the Retroid Pocket 5 using the Plutonium Launcher. Okay, so let's get this set up. So first of all, this is the WinLater version I'm using, CMOD version 13.1.1. So download and install that on your device. Uh, I just do this through the actual device, don't need to drag it across from the PC or anything like that. Uh, the links will be in the description below. Then we want to download the launcher itself for Plutonium. Uh, this is just an EXE. Uh, annoyingly with this, it doesn't actually let you choose the install location, so we're just going to force it to install into a folder of our choosing to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. So open up your SD card, uh, make a folder uh, for it to go in. I put my games in a Windows Games folder, and then inside of that I've made a Plutonium folder. So then you want to drag across the Plutonium EXE. Uh, Go back to the, the folder itself, open that in terminal, and then type in exactly as I do. Again, this will be in the description below. This just forces Plutonium to install into the folder on our SD card and not into our Windows program files. So just let that run. It will take a, a minute or so. Okay, and when that's done, it will open and it will give you a link to go and sign up. If you go there and make an account, uh, don't need to log on here. We'll do that on the device. Okay, now we want to grab the game files. So if you just install the game on Steam and go to the uh, Browse Local Files option for Steam, It'll take you right to the folder, just back out, then you can copy across this folder to your SD card. I put it in the same folder as Plutonium for convenience. That will take a while to drag across. Once that's done, just put the SD card back into your device and the next steps are over in WinLater. Okay. Now in WinLater, we want to first of all make sure our controller is assigned. Then we want to press top right, create a container. Name that something appropriate. Set wine to Proton Arm. Set your graphics driver to turn it to 25.1.0. Set that to 4 gig. The wrapper we're setting to async 1.10.3. Turning on async. Set the frame rate to 60 to make sure it's smooth and set it to 4 gig. Then you're going to scroll down to the bottom and set that to 4 gig as well. Okay, then in the wind components, we're going to set anything to do with sound, so direct sound, direct music, X audio to native windows. Then under environmental variables, we're going to delete these bottom three. This just removes the debug HUD. We don't need that. Then add a drive and find the file path for where you put the game on the launcher. Then under advanced, set box 64 to performance. Fex call we want on fastest, fast, enabled, and that's everything for the container. Create that. Now boot into it.
Here we want to go to that directory we added, find plutonium, go into bin, right click the launcher and create a shortcut. I'll head back out, go to the search bar, go back on your device, select keyboard, search for direct X, go to the folder, find the installer, it's about halfway, run that. That will take a few seconds to install and after that head back to the win later main menu. Okay, now head over to shortcuts. You can rename this if you like, you don't have to. And launch it. Log in with the account you would have made earlier. Then select either Black Ops multiplayer, which is T5, T5 multiplayer, T5 zombies. It will say set up, click that. I'll just demonstrate, mine's already set up. I'll just show you what you do. You locate your Call of Duty Black Ops folder. So just go back to that drive again. Select the Black Ops folder, select open. Now we're good to go, we can load into the game. Okay, so now we just need to change a few settings in game. Go to graphics and turn off anti-aliasing. Turn sync every frame to no. Turn off shadows. Now head over to the controls tab, gamepad, and make sure to enable gamepad. And that's it. Now you can play. And there you go. Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies on the Retro Pocket 5, running at 60 frames per second. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.